Hey lovelies, I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryant and welcome back to The Other Side of the Dash. Hi and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Today is a keto video. And today I'm going to review one of my favorite products. So, many of us suffer from lack of energy, right? And many of us are Red Bull drinkers, okay? I know you, 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 you're a Red Bull drinker, I know you are. So on keto, Red Bull is, very, is not a very good idea. Maybe the sugar-free Red Bull, but that's still probably not a good idea. So in comes an alternative for keto lifestylers uh, to replace Red Bull. And it's called Bang! <laughs> so Bang is something that I found out about watching other people on YouTube who uh, drink Bang. And I also did a little research on it. I also belong to a, a, a keto for beginners Facebook group and I also learned about Bang through that group. So I was very hesitant to try Bang. Um, I found it on Amazon and it is very pricey on Amazon. So I was looking for it in my local store and I don't know why I didn't go. We have a, we have a Whole Foods and I'm sure it's there. So I couldn't find it in the local Walmart, the local Target, or any of my other local grocery stores. So I was gonna to try to either wait or bite the bullet to go on Amazon and try it, because I really wanted to try it because I uh, was lacking energy from time to time, but as the keto diet started to, or as I started to get acclimated with the keto diet, I felt like I didn't need them as much, but there were times when I was starting to pull all-nighters that I actually did need them uh, because what I was doing before was um, I was going to bed on time, I was getting enough sleep, so I was doing okay, but there were times that I couldn't do that. So I felt like I needed a little bit more energy to, to pull those off. So lo and behold, I was at the grocery store at the food line, the local food line here. And um, if you're on the West Coast, they don't have those there, I don't believe. they, Because I lived in Denver for most of my life and they didn't have them there. They didn't have them in Texas. So I believe they're an East Coast, Southeast kind of thing. Um, so anyway, I was there shopping uh, a couple days ago and I looked up and bang, there it was. So um, I tried, they, had, they didn't have, the, uh, have them in the packs or the cases. They just had a few flavors. So I got some and uh, I got the um, peach mango and so far, because this is the only one I've drank, uh, because I really haven't needed them, but this is my favorite so far. I've also got the um, cotton candy. I've heard a lot of people in my Facebook group say that they love this one. And then I've got the sour heads. Decided to be daring and get this one. So um, I will probably try the cotton candy the next time I need one. So. Um, I might go ahead and get a case because I know that if I get a case, they'll last a long time because like I said, I drank this one yesterday um, because I was working on a project for my other channel and I was up all night um, and I'll get to that in a minute. But um, I drank this one and I probably won't have another one until, I might drink one the weekend, I don't know because we're working on a project, but like I said, they'll last a long time. But uh, at any rate, um, let me just get into a little bit of what is on the label here. So there's zero calories, zero fat, zero carbs, zero anything, zero sugar. So the main things I'm looking for, although I'm not really tracking my calories right now on keto, uh, is there are zero calories. There are no carbs. There are no fat. And more importantly, there are no sugars. Now, not that many of you might care about this, but I'll go ahead and give you the vitamin. They do have vitamins, 50% um, of vitamin C, 25% uh, of vitamin B6, 
2% of magnesium. Magnesium, although that's not a great big deal, magnesium and potassium are big deals when you're on keto. And I'll talk about that in another video. 25% uh, niacin and 25% of vitamin B12. Now when you go to the ingredients, uh, I'm looking for things that we really don't want to see in here and I don't see, let's see here. Now for some reason, super cre creatine is bolded and highlighted in the ingredients. I don't know much about that, but I'll be researching that. But what I was looking for uh, is something like sucralose, uh, aspartame, because they both give me a headache. Now, when I drink the Red Bulls, which have sucralose, actually, I think they have super aspartame, they do give me a headache. Now, this particular uh, bang drink does have sucralose, but I noticed when I drank it yesterday, I did not get a headache. It does have sucralose, so if you're, you're sensitive to sucralose, you may want to test the waters. Like I said, I'm sensitive to sucralose, but this did not give me a headache. And normally when I drink Crystal Light, uh, Red Bull or anything else with sucralose or aspartame, it does give me a headache, but some people are not sensitive to it. But it's a better alternative than sugars, uh, regular sugars. I'll put the, uh, the ingredients in the description box below because there are a lot of things in here, things that we don't know how to, how to spell or how to pronounce or whatever. Okay, so now what I'm looking for is the caffeine content. It does have ca caffeine. I'm not seeing how much caffeine is in here and I'll do some research on that and I'll come back and do an update on the caffeine in it but there is a warning on the label that says warning warning too much caffeine may cause nervousness irritability sleeplessness and occasionally rapid heartbeat not recommended for use by individuals under the age of 18 Okay, here we go. The caffeine contents. One serving of Bang provides 300 milligrams of caffeine, which is more than two cups of coffee. I'm not going to dispute that. I'm not going to agree with that. I drink two cups of coffee, two cups of Star Starbucks coffee a day. And I did not get the effects that I got from Bang. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe there's more than two cups of coffee in here. So... The reason why I say that is because, let me tell you about my effects. So I drank it and at first I started off by drinking half a, 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 a can. These are 16 ounce cans. I started off by drinking half a can because I didn't know what to expect. So when you taste it, it's very sweet. Of course, it's the circulose that's making it sweet. But um, I drank half a can. I thought, oh, this tastes very good. I mean, it's very tasty. It does not have that plastic, penny, copper taste, aftertaste that um, Red Bull has. Although I don't knock Red Bull because, you know, I love Red Bull. But these taste a lot better. So after I drank it, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and drink the other half. I didn't feel any effects maybe 10 20 minutes after i drank so i drank the other half you guys an hour later i felt like the freaking energizer bunny my husband will tell you i was like and i don't get that effect with red bull i can drink a pot of coffee a day and i don't get that effect i was like now part of the problem may have been i waited till like five o'clock before I drank it. Never do that. I would not suggest taking any energy drink after three o'clock. Now coffee is different. I'm sorry, if you're an avid coffee drinker, you're gonna drink coffee all day, every day, morning, noon, night, whatever. But any energy drink, I would not suggest you drinking it after three o'clock. I drank this at five o'clock. It did not kick in until six o'clock. <laughs> do, 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 all over the house, Energizer Bunny. I wanted to do everything, everything. And I did not get to sleep finally because I forced myself to go to sleep until 2.30 this morning. And then even after that, I slept maybe for a couple hours. I got up to see my granddaughter off to school and I got up and started cleaning the house. And I finally made myself lay down and go to sleep. So it, these things to me have more energy than Red Bull. 
I wouldn't recommend drinking these on a regular basis. Um, I will do more research on these, but if I had to choose these between these and a Red Bull, these are going to win out. And like I said, so far, my favorite flavor is the peach mango. Um, the next one I'll be trying, I don't know when I'll try it. It's going to be the cotton candy. And then it's going to be the sour heads. There are more flavors. I just happened to see, pick up these three. I didn't want to get too many because uh, they were $2.19 a can. So I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money and find out I didn't like them. Because in the Facebook group, the people, there were people who said they didn't like them at all. So I'm like, okay, I don't want to spend money on something I don't like. And they're going to be sitting in the house. So anyway, I do like like them so far. So um, so these are definitely a keto staple for me, provided I need energy. But the keto itself, being eat, the clean eating per se, um, the low carbs, the more protein, the more uh, clean fats, and the working out and things like that um, have helped with the energy. But if you have to have up energy pick me up and you don't want to do coffee and you don't want to do Red Bull or you want an alternative to Red Bull you can use these and I'm thinking to myself why not do these and if you're looking to hire to uh, increase your fats put a teaspoon or a tablespoon of coconut oil or MCT oil in this and drink it why not so anyway that's my review on the bang my initial review on bang um there'll be more reviews on bang because i have to do some more research on it um i have to taste the other flavors and most of all the research on it but right now this is my go-to energy drink for keto so um hopefully i've been uh of some help hopefully i piqued your curiosity especially if you are a red bull drinker and you're looking for an alternative and like i said red bull does have a sugar-free um option and what i'll do too also i'll do a review and do a side-by-side -side comparison of the bang and the red bull in a later video but um there are other alternatives out there so um hopefully i helped you guys if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell give me a thumbs up and tell others about my channel i love newcomers so until the next video, I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryant, and you've been watching The Other Side of the Dash.